In this updated guide to the Ledger Nano S, I'll show you how to set up your device step by step. I'll also talk you through some security steps that you need to take so that you are absolutely safe. And I'll show you how to set up your Ledger Life wallet online and how to add cryptocurrencies to your Ledger wallet and your device. So let's get started. So first of all, why buy a hardware wallet? Because cryptocurrencies are completely different from traditional currencies. With the traditional system, you are the most important person. So say for example, you lose your password to your bank account, or you even lose your bank card, for example. All you have to do is go to your bank, present your ID, and once they verify that you are who you are, you will gain access to your account. Now with cryptocurrencies, it doesn't work like this. Cryptocurrencies don't care who you are, but rather they care about the private key. So this is really important. You can use mathematics to detect if the private key is used, but it doesn't tell you who used it. And that's the key here. Anyone who has access to your private key has access to your funds. So if a hacker has access to your private key, then they can in essence steal your funds. They can steal your money. And that might be a lot of money for some. And that's why you really want to own one of these. So our hardware wallet preferably because they are very, very secure. I'm also talking about the treasurer as well. So how are they secure? Because the private key always remains on the device. So it never really leaves this piece of hardware. You can't really access it on your computer. And the only way that one can hack your private key is through the backup phrase, which comes the Ledger Nano S. And I'll talk about that in a second. There are other alternatives, for example, like paper wallet. You can also have a hot wallet, like wallets running on your computer or even wallets on your mobile phone. Again, very convenient if you're storing large amounts of cryptocurrencies, then you should definitely consider buying a hardware wallet like the Nano S or a tracer. So let's get started. So when you buy the Ledger Nano S, it will arrive in a box like this and it will have the actual product and some cables. The cables connect to your computer, so to your Mac or to your Windows. And eventually you can also connect it to your Android or iOS device, which also provides additional levels of security if you're interested in that. Now you also have a sheet of paper like this, and this is your recovery phrase. Now this is the most important thing about setting this up. Let's talk a little bit about this recovery sheet and the rules for it. So why do you need a recovery sheet? The 24 words that you will add to this sheet eventually is going to be able to back up this device. So if in any case that you lose this device, you can back it up. And this is why this piece of paper is also the most important thing. Now if a hacker or a thief gets access to this piece of paper, then it's as good as stealing your wallet. And also you should never ever write the content of this piece of paper somewhere where others can see it. Like take photographs of it or things like that because again that's way too risky. So let's start by plugging this in. You will be greeted with a welcome screen once you connect it to your computer and you're going to navigate this device using the buttons at the top. So there are two buttons. Press both buttons at the same time to begin. So here it will prompt you if you want to set it up as a new device or restore device. So that's where if you ever, for example, want to restore your 2004 word phrase, that's where you can do that. So I'm going to set this up as a new device. It's going to ask you to enter in PIN. The PIN is actually really important because anytime you log into your device, it will ask you for your PIN to prove. The PIN is actually really important because Anytime you log into your device, it will ask you for your pin to prove that it's you. Now you can use the left and right buttons to choose the number for your pin that you want. And I'm going to use a four number pin. And for the fifth, I will go all the way down and choose the tick to indicate that my pin is complete. Then I'm going to press both buttons at the same time and done. The pin is all set up now. And now you need to re-enter that again and confirm by pressing both buttons again. So again, enter your PIN number. Now at this step, you need to write down your 20 forward recovery phrase. So the ledger will give you a 24 word recovery phrase and you want to write this down on a piece of paper. 
So for example, the piece of paper that comes with your device and never ever write it down on your computer because if you write it down on your computer, it's just as good as having a hot wallet because now hackers can access that and steal it from your computer. The 24 word phrase I mean. So you want to write it down physically with a pen on a piece of paper. Also, you don't want to write it with a pen that can be easily erased or a pencil because you want to keep it for a long, long time. So make sure that you write it down with a pen that doesn't fade away over time. So the ledger none OS will generate 24 word phrase for you. When you press the right button, write them down as they are numbered. Make sure your handwriting is clear and legible and the order is correct. Now the device is going to ask you to confirm your recovery phrase and is going to ask you what your words are. For example, it might ask you what the 17th word is or the eighth word or the first word. And you will need to press the left or right buttons till you navigate to the word and then press both buttons to confirm that the word is correct. So now the device is ready to be used. I'm going to connect it to my Windows PC and I'll show you guys how you can use it. So you need to plug it into your computer and I'm assuming if you're following this tutorial step by step, you already have done that. And then when you are on your computer, you open up your browser. I'm using Firefox here, but you can use Google Chrome as well. I recommend either Google Chrome or Firefox. And in the search area of Google, I've just typed in Ledger Wallet. I find this is the easiest way to get to it. And here where it says, WWG come to want to click on this website. So Ledger Hardware Wallets, click on that. One of the ways to get to the LAN OS download section is here. Scroll down and here where it says Ledger Life, you want to click on download. So I'm gonna click that now. It will take you to a page like this. So again, it's just confirming download. Now I'm in the Ledger. So you want to click on download. Now save file then OK. So it's downloading and I'm going to install it. And then I'm going to click finish and make sure the wrong ledger life is ticked so that it automatically opens the ledger life for you. And welcome to the ledger life. Get started. Click on get started now. In terms of the word initialize it, it means whether you have already set up the device or not. So if you haven't followed the first part of this tutorial, then you can click here and generate a seed and a password. So because I've showed you how to set up your device at the beginning of the video, you can now go ahead and click use a device that has already been initialized. If you want to restore your device, you can click here. And if you do not have a Ledger Nano S and you're just watching this video, just to get informed, then you can click here, all right? So I'm going to click use a device that's already been initialized now I've got the Ledger Nano S, but if you have the Ledger Blue, you can click on this and then I'm going to click on continue. All right, so here we have some security checklists. Number one, did you choose your pin code by yourself? So obviously, hopefully you did, and we can click yes for that. Did you save your recovery phrase by yourself? Again, I'm hoping that you have done this, or at least you've done it with somebody that you trust. So click yes. Is your ledger device genuine? So here you can have a look and this is a mandatory anyway. So let's click on that now. Make sure that your ledger nano S is connected to your computer. Of course, you will have to press the right button on your ledger nano S to say allow ledger manager. So press the right button now on your ledger nano S. Yes, there you go. So it says here your device is genuine. So my one is genuine, okay? And now I'm going to continue. All right, so here is giving you the option to select or to choose another password for your Ledger Life. And I do recommend that you choose a password. You can also skip this step if you want. And then I'm going to click on continue. We can just continue here. It says your device is ready. Proceed to your portfolio and start adding your accounts. So you've got a bit of confetti here to welcome you to the Ledger Life. Okay, so let's click on Open Ledger Life. And again, just a bit more information about safety and assets and things like that. So yeah, we got that all right. So this is the layout of the Ledger Live. It's very straightforward and yeah, just very easy to use. 
So you got your portfolio. So this is where all of your crypto assets will be displayed. Once you have added them onto your account, then of course you can send and receive cryptocurrencies once you've added your applications. So let's click on Open Manager. And again, you need to make sure that your Ledger Nano S is connected. Okay, so as you can see, you've got all of these different cryptocurrencies that you can add onto your account. Although you can add as many cryptocurrencies onto your device, you can't all have them display at the same time. I'll make a separate video about how you can add multiple cryptocurrencies onto your Ledger Nano S without having to worry about the space. So the storage space, so the three cryptocurrencies that have already been installed onto my Ledger Nano S is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Fado. So these are cryptocurrencies that I don't need to install onto my device again. However, I would like to install Bitcoin Cash, for example. So I'm going to click on install. Okay, and it says Bitcoin Cash is now installed on your device. There you go. And you should see it pop up on your actual Ledger Nano S if you press your buttons. So the right button, for example, just press it. And you should see Bitcoin Cash up here. So the next step, if you want to now add Bitcoin Cash to your accounts here, so that it also displays on your portfolio, you need to click on the plus sign here or icon and then click on the arrow pointing down and then select whatever cryptocurrency that you have added. So I'm gonna click on Bitcoin Cash and then continue. Again, your Ledger Nano S needs to be connected to your computer. On your Ledger Nano S, you need to navigate to Bitcoin Cash. So just keep pressing the buttons until you see Bitcoin Cash and then you want to click both buttons at the same time. So press both buttons on your Ledger Nano S now, and once you do that, it says use wallet to view accounts. So click on the right button on the Ledger Nano S. Okay, and now click continue. Okay, so you can see it takes a while here just to synchronize. Okay, there you go. So Bitcoin Cash has been added and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this Bitcoin Cash. And now you want to click on add account. There you go account successfully added to your portfolio and you can add more applications if you want i'm just going to click on the x sign and there you go so if you double click on bitcoin cash you can now receive bitcoin cash for example or you can also send bitcoin cash i'm going to also add ethereum and bitcoin to the accounts now very quickly make sure that this is ticked and then add account there you go, account successfully added to your portfolio. So in the next video, I'm going to create a short tutorial about how to send and receive different cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, by using your Ledger Nano S and the Ledger Live. We were born to grow together.